Welcome back, guys, to Kids Coding Playground, and happy Easter. Today, in America, it is uh, Easter Sunday, so we made an Easter egg hunt game in Scratch. So, let's start the projects. So, when you play the game, you use the... Uh, let me turn on the volume, there's music. So, you can either use A and D, or the arrow keys, to move, like, scroll around, and you're trying to look for the eggs. So, you click on the eggs, you see there's an egg right here, so you click on it. So, I'm just gonna find all the eggs. There's one right there. And also, there's going to be 12 eggs, so uh, we already found three right now. There's one right here, uh, one right here, one right here. So basically, it's just like an egg search game. One right here, one on the scratch bus. Uh, that's 10 eggs. Okay, we have two more. There's one in the tree, and one behind the duck. And then, once you get all of them, it says you win. And then up here we have the timer, so like that's how long it took you to get it. And here we have the fastest time. So that's my fastest time so far. So basically this is like high score kind of. Okay, now let's start a new project. So let's get into a new project. And we're gonna first, let's rename this project. Let's name it Egg uh, Easter Egg Hunt. Easter Egg Hunt. Okay. Alright, so next, let's get stuff from our library. We're gonna delete the scratch cut. So, it took us a really long time to get all these sprites. So, if you don't want to do it, we have a, cost, a copy of this project down below. You can remix it so you have a template to do. So, you don't have to, like, do all the code. Like, I mean, make all the costumes and get them all by yourself. Or you can download it if you want and draw it if you would like. But we have a copy in our description so you can download it to get a template of it. So, here we have our ground. So it took us a long time to get all of these and make it look well. Here are the eggs. This is the uh, scrolling background. And then here we have the you win sprites. And the other ones we can just draw. Um, so here we have the ground, right? So costumes. So we have a lot of them. So basically we just like use the assets from the ninja platformer to um, do this. And this is actually wrong. I uh, forgot to change it. It's actually supposed to be 12 eggs. So... Uh, here we have all of our costumes. So we use some of the assets from the Scratch library and some from the Ninja platformer. Here we have the eggs. It's just, we just drew a oval kind of. And then we drew two rectangles and tried to reshape them to make it look like an Easter egg kind of. And then here we have the background scrolling. Okay, let me like click on here. Sure. Yeah, so it's a, kind of like that. We just reshaped it. We use the reshape tool. You can like change the edges of the thing. Here are the background scrolling. This is also like assets from the ninja platformer. So like this is like so you have like the background. This is like the one all the way in the back. Um and then next you have the U win. We use the cool text to make it look better. Okay, so these are all our different sprites. Let's get into the code. So first let's start out with the player. So with the player we just have to paint the sprites and nothing. Just make it blank and we'll name it player. I'm going to actually make a second costume, uh, and then I'm going to draw a black circle in the middle to show you guys how it works. You do not have to do this. I'll show you how it works afterwards. So we're just going to hold down shift and get a circle. Let's make it bigger a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good enough. Okay, so we have a 10 by 10 circle. You don't have to do this step, but I'm just going to show you how it works after we get the scrolling mechanics done. So we're here. We have... Okay. Now I'm using the second costume with the dot. Later I will delete this once I'm done showing. Now that I'm done explaining the costumes, let's get into the coding. So I'm gonna first create all the variables. So, so in, like to uh, reduce mistakes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna create all the variables at first and we will all use them later. So for, for the sprite, we're in the player sprite right now, right? So we're gonna have to do uh, change x, change x. So that's for the sprite only. And then next we can do the start position x, that's also for the sprite only. Everything with the lowercase first is for the sprite only. And then finally we have start position y, that's for the sprite only as well. And apparently 91.1% of you that are watching this video are not subscribed. So please subscribe to our channel, it would really help to support our channel. And leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video. And then next we have G scroll X, G speed X, and then with the mouse position. So we're going to get the G underscore uh, scroll X. This is for all sprites. 
and then next we have the G, and then we're going to get the speed X, so this is the speed on the X axis, and then next we have the G mouse position, so this is the mouse position, so, so you know where to put everything, so G mouse position, position, okay. okay, and then we have a few more variables, this is for the egg and all that stuff, we can do that after we finish all the movement and coding. So let me hide the variables. Okay, so now let's one group if I clicked, I'm gonna it's already zoomed in. We're gonna go broadcast a message and wait. We're gonna name it start level. So we're gonna name it start level. And then next we're gonna show it. And then after that we're gonna get a new uh, custom block. So we're gonna make a new custom block and movement movement control. So movement control, click OK, and then we have to define it. So we're going to get an if else statement. So we're going to get if, so we're going to get if the, so we're going to get and. So right here is the movement. So we're going to put an or. Some people like using the WASD keys, so that's why we're doing the or. So we're going to do um, if key right or the key uh, D is being pressed. So we have this, that, and, so basically, Next, we're gonna make it have a maximum scroll limit, so you can't scroll past a certain place. So we're gonna do, um, and the G scroll X is less than 3,360. So I got the 3,360 because in the background, right? Um, I laid them all out and I found that the end is 3,360, about, uh, approximately. So um, depending on how much costumes you have and how big they are, this, uh, part will change for you, but if you're using the same uh, background and stuff, then it will be 3,360. So, so we're gonna make the G scroll X less than that, so you can't scroll past this limit. G scroll X, and then next we're gonna get a set speed X. So this is the movement of the player. So speed X, we're gonna set it to 10. And then next we're gonna get another if else statement. So we're gonna put it inside the else. So this is the movement for the left and right uh, left and A keys. So we're gonna do left key and then A key. And then next we're gonna get, we're gonna set the speed X to negative 10. G speed X to negative 10. So this is scrolling to the left, so it'd be negative 10. And then after that, we're gonna make it, if it's standing still, then it will not move. So we're gonna set the speed X right here to zero. So this is if none of the keys are being pressed down. So here we have this code right here. This is the movement, the start. Okay, next, after this, we're gonna get uh, when I receive. So when I receive start level, we are gonna start coding in here. We're gonna set this player to go to negative 200 and then Y zero in the beginning. And then we're gonna set uh, G scroll X to zero. So in the beginning, you're not scrolling, so we're gonna set it to zero. And then we're gonna broadcast three different messages. So we'll use them later. So first, we're gonna broadcast reset and wait, broadcast another one, we're going to name it setup, setup, and then next we're going to name one start game, so broadcast start game, so we're going to use the start game right now, actually, so start game, so right here, let me move this down, when I receive start game, when I receive start game, uh, we are going to change the ghost effect by zero, so we're setting the ghost effect to zero because we, I want to show the dot. Later, I'm going to uh, like delete it and or ghost it to 100. So we're just going to set it to zero for now. Uh, change ghost effect by zero. And then next, we're going to show it. Show the dot. And then after that, we're going to get a forever loop. So forever. And then we're going to get a set. Uh, we have the variable, I think, start position x, right? So we're going to do a forever set start position x to x position. So it's going to set this variable to the x position of the dot. And then we're going to broadcast three other messages. We're going to broadcast a message. We're going to name it start all control. So this is going to start the control, the movement control of the player. Start all control. And then next we're going to do another one. So broadcast... I'm going to name it Calculate Scrolling. Cal calculate scroll Scrolling. So, Calculate Scrolling. And then one more, we're going to name it Move Ground. So this is moving the background. Uh, moving like the ground where like you can 
click on the eggs, of course, so we're gonna remove ground, remove ground, and then here we have our broadcast. We're gonna broadcast when I receive start control, start all control. We're gonna call this block right here, movement control, and then we're gonna change the X by the G speed X, so it will actually move. G speed X. So now I'm gonna play the project. As you can see, the dot is moving, so it's gonna be scrolling with the background. Okay. Next, let's get onto the calculate scrolling. So right here is, we're gonna, when I receive, maybe I'll do it here, that's, that's better. When I receive, calculate scrolling, we're gonna set the change X uh, to the X position minus the start position. So we're gonna do the subtraction, X position, which would be set to the start position. So we're gonna do the X position of this thing minus that. So basically this script basically just points to wherever the dot is based on the zero. So it's like, it could be like right here, it's gonna be pointing towards the center. So, so X position minus the start position, X start position X. And then next we're gonna get a, uh, if so if so if the x position is greater than zero then we're going to allow it to scroll so like as you can see in the demonstration if we scroll too far to the left uh you would have to uh you it would not scroll anymore uh so if we're going to do if x position is uh we're going to duplicate that x position is greater than zero then we'll allow it to scroll to the right so we're going to change the g scroll x g scroll x to by ch change x and then next we're going to change the x so this is uh, going to change the x by zero minus the change x so zero minus the change in x okay and then next we're going to get if then statement so if so we're going to do if the x position is less than zero so and g scroll x is greater than zero, so we're gonna do if x position less than zero, and g scroll x is greater than zero. So we're gonna get g scroll x is greater than zero, so we're gonna put the g scroll x right here. Zero, then we're gonna change the g scroll x by change x. So this is the scrolling, we're gonna change this scroll x by the change in x oops i don't want to duplicate that oh i can't get it from here and then next we're going to change the x same thing right here we're going to duplicate this so this is just che basically this script is just basically checking if the player is allowed to scroll so it's going to check okay so here we have all the code i think for the player save project so right here, doesn't really do anything, right? It just moves. So we have to get the uh, care, like the background and stuff like that to start scrolling for this part to work. So, so as you can see, if you open the variable G scroll X, as you can see, after you pass a certain point, it will start scrolling. So when you get it back to zero, it will stop scrolling. So basically it just stops there and now it just starts scrolling. So that's how the scrolling works. Okay, so we're finished with all the code in the player. I think this should be good enough for our part one of this Easter egg hunt tutorial for our Scratch project. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.